visiting Corazon Aquino's speech before the U.S. Congress. In this particular document, we are about to discuss the content and contextual analysis of the late President Corazon Aquino's speech before the, jo before the joint U.S. Congress. The main purpose of this study is to present the primary source, the information of the background, and to provide historical context and the importance or relevance of the speech in uh, the, the relevance of the speech in our history along its content. So let us check first the background of uh, the late President Corazon Aquino. She was born as Maria Corazon Sumulong Kumanko on January 25, 1933 in Tarlac, Philippines. She graduated from College of Mount St. Vincent in New York in 1954 with bachelor's degree in French and Mathematics. She was a widow of the, the late Senator Benigno Ninoy Aquino, the oppositionist of former President Ferdinand Marcos. In addition, uh, she was characterized as a loving mother to her children and also she hailed as the 11th president and the first female president of the Republic of the Philippines. She was widely accredited as the mother of Asian democracy where she'd be able to restore the democracy after the dictatorship of the late President Ferdinand Marcos. In addition, she was named as the Time Magazine's Woman of the Year in 1986. Presidential term is six years, dated February 21, 1986 to June 30, 1992. Uh, she died on August 1, 2009 at the age of 70. So now let us proceed with with another concept or another information with uh, President Aquino. President Aquino functioned as the symbol of the restoration of the democracy and the overthrow of the Marcos dictatorship in 1986. The EDSA People Power, which installed Cory Aquino in the presidency, put the Philippines in the international spotlight for overthrowing a dictator through peaceful means. Now let us check the historical background of this document. On September 21, 1972, President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law. While in 1980, Ninoy was jailed for eight years and Corazon Aquino accompanied him into an exile in the United States. On February 1986, Corazon Aquino ran as the opposition's presidential candidate with Salvador Laurel as her running mate for vice president. On February 25, 1986, uh, EDSA People Power Revolution happened. On September 1986, President Corazon Aquino visited the United States of America and gave her speech before the joint session of the U.S. Congress. where she sought help in addressing the $26 billion foreign debt and a communist insurgency that grew from 500 armed guerrillas to 16,000 during Marcos' regime. 
In her speech, she, she called the Americans to help the Philippines in preserving the freedom and democracy. Also, she managed to influence the votes to favor the $20 million, the $200 million financial aid towards the rebuilding of the Philippine economy. And the speech was written by the Foreign Affairs Secretary Teddy Boy Luxin Jr. So now let us proceed with the picture of President Corazon Aquino is speaking or giving her speech in front of the Joint Congress of the United States of America. In here, it was dated September 18, 1986, seven months since Corey became president. She went to the United States and spoke the joint session of the U.S. Congress. Corey was welcomed along with long applause as she took the podium and addressed the United States about her presidency and the challenges faced by the new republic. Moving forward, uh, this is the analysis of the Corazon Aquino speech. We will not be able to read the whole speech uh, since it is very long. Uh, what we gonna do is we are be, uh, we will we will give an analysis based on the speech. You can also watch the whole uh, video or speech in YouTube. Cory Aquino's speech was an important event in political and diplomatic history of the Philippines because it has arguably cemented the legitimacy of the ENSA government in the international arena. Second, the ideology or principles of the New Republic government can also be seen in the same speech. Third, Cory Aquino hosted herself as the recon reconciliatory agent after more than two dec decades of polarizing authoritarian politics. According to the speech, um, Cory Aquino serves as a reconciliatory uh, symbol which unified the Filipinos and able to fight against the dictatorship of uh, Ferdinand Marcos. Also, we can see in uh, the, the speech that Cory, Cory's effort to host herself as the extract opposite of Ferdinand Marcos. Her speech still revealed certain parallelism between her and the Marcos government. Reading through Aquino's speech, we can already take cues not just on Cory's individual ideas and aspiration, but also the guiding principle and framework of the government that she represented. Thank you very much for listening. This is your instructor.